All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to add a simple script that will take a row that you select here and move it to the appropriate section. So we don't have to drag it manually. So this is a fairly easy script. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Go to extensions and app script. And while that's loading, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these headers real quick, just in case you're doing this from scratch. So if you have your data already set up here, you can just insert a row here. And then I'm going to get rid of this drop down. So I'm just going to click on that edit button and remove rule. And you can see now that drop down is no longer here. And we could call this, for example, pending. And then I'm going to just simply select those, click merge. And then we could select a color for that, bold, and increase the font size a little bit. So now you can see it's a nice little header there. So I'm going to delete it for now. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in here and get our script project going. So I'm going to use a function called on edit, and then this has E as one of the parameters. And so this E stands for event. And so we're going to use that to get some data that we need. So for example, we're going to get the range and this range is what was edited. And then we're going to get the source here, uh, the source sheet. So we're just going to do E dot source dot get active sheet. And then let's go ahead and get a couple other things. We need to find out the row. We just dot get row. And then column. And we're just going to say col for that. Range dot get column. And then finally, let's get the actual value. So val equals range dot get value. Perfect. That should be all we need for now. We're going to get a couple more things. But let me just walk you through how we're going to determine what we're going to do here. So if this um, is prospects is what is selected here, what we need to determine is what was selected. Also, that it's only in column A, so the first column. So we're going to make a if statement. And this if statement, we're going to put our rest of our code inside this. So it's only going to happen if it meets this criteria. And so we're going to use that call for our column and we're gonna say if column equals one. And then let's go ahead and just do something else. Let's, let's do and value is not equal to blank. And so this double ampersand is just saying both of these conditions have to be true. All right, so once we have that, we've determined that we're in column one that we edited and there is a value, that's what this is doing. So if you deleted something, for example, it's not gonna trigger it. So within that, First of all, let's get that row of data. So we need to get this data so we can get it moved down. So let's go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna declare a new variable. We'll just call this data and sheet.getRange. And then within this, we're gonna grab that row that we already have right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just start at two. And then we're gonna do one row. And then we need the last column. So let's just do sheet.getLastColumn instead of having to count. And then because I'm starting in column two, I'm actually going to do negative one here. So we're not trying to get a column that doesn't exist. So if we start at one, then we could do this. But since we're starting at two, just ignore that status column. We're just going to do that negative one offset. Finally, get values, um, just like that. And then what we're going to do next, so we're not messing ourselves up, let's go ahead and delete that row. So we're going to do sheet.delete row just like that. And then, so at this point, we've grabbed our row of data and we've deleted that row. And now we need to find, so for example, if it's prospects, we need to find this prospects and then we need to insert a row. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just call this statuses. And we're gonna do sheet got, get range again. And then let's just start at two and then we want column one, and then we need all the way down to the bottom of the sheet. So I'm gonna do this sheet.getLastRow method, and then because we're starting at row two, we're gonna go ahead and just do negative one on that, and then we only need one column wide, and then we're gonna do get values. and then what I'm gonna add on here is just a dot flat, and so what this does is it just makes everything a single array instead of a double array. So you don't necessarily have to understand how that works. That's just gonna make our next method actually work here. 
And so what we're going to do is let's find out where that header is. And so we're going to use this statuses that we pulled and use this index of method. And so this index of is going to give us the index or basically the reference uh, number where it lives. And we're going to use that value. And so what this is going to do is starting at zero, um, it's going to basically count up through the statuses or basically whatever we have in here. So leads, prospects, sales, and lost. And it's going to based on a zero index, which would be here. So this would be zero. It's going to find where it is. So if we selected prospects here, it's going to find this row, um, which would be eight. But the zero index, because this is starting at zero, would mean this is actually going to be six. We need to subtract two to get our actual row. So this will be six. And then let's do let new row equals header plus three. And I'll explain why. Because we actually don't want it to go here. We want it to go here. So we're going to do new row equals header plus three. And then we're going to insert a new row because we don't want to overwrite for new row. So now basically what we've done is insert a new row here, and then we just need to paste that data. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Sheet dot get range. And so the one thing that can be a little confusing when we delete rows and insert rows um, is this new row is actually number right now. And so if I use this new row, it's going to be the same as um, what was new row here. Now it's still the same number, if that makes sense. And you'll see it once we get this applied. So get range dot new row, and then we'll start at two again, because that's what we did here. And then one row, and then we'll just do sheet dot get last column minus one. And now this time we're going to use our set values method and put our data right there. All right, so I'm going to get rid of these extra spaces. So this should be all good to go. We are getting our data, deleting the row, getting our values from the status column to determine where our header is. Then we're inserting a row. And the reason why I'm doing insert row before, because there's another method called insert row after. The reason I'm doing insert row before on this one is if I insert a row after, it takes that same format. And I don't want this format, I want this format. So that's why I'm doing that insert row before. All right, so this should be all working now. So let's go ahead and check it out. And there we go. So let's go ahead and move this back. And let's go ahead and move this one back. Perfect. Now let's say go ahead and move this one to sales. And just like that. So now we're all working and good to go. So um, I'm going to include a link to this project in the description below. So you guys can check it out, play around with this. And then, yeah, make sure you check out our other videos for more tutorials on both AppScript and Google Sheets. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.